I'm Verna Lee Kinnersley. I'm her husband and caregiver, Jerry Kinnersley. She asked me out on the first date. I'd forgotten that. Man, my heart went pity pat. When were we married? You mean what year? Yeah. How about Valentine's Day? Yeah, Valentine's Day. 1953. Yeah. That's right. We have two girls first, and then we had two boys. Right? Yep. Yep. You're doing <laughs> okay. right. Our primary care physician talked about Verna starting to forget an item or two. He thought it was getting progressively worse, and he detected her as having mild Alzheimer's. She's asked me a number of times, when was the first time that I ever kissed her? You know, I, I can't answer that question. Yeah, I don't think I remember Wish either. I would. <laughs> That's the most recent one. <laughs> this is Verna's bulletin board. It's very helpful. I don't know, I just stuck that on there. I thought she might like to look at that from time to time. I think I'm a very lucky person. <laughs> The luckiest thing that ever happened to us is Larry Rubel. His father had Alzheimer's. Larry wanted to uh, establish a center here to do something about dementia and other diseases. Larry established the Keep Memory Alive. We're sitting in what Frank Gehry designed. And I would tell you that this is one of the primary buildings in the city of Las Vegas that people talk about. Jerry and Verna are a love story, there's no question. And you see that all the time. You see how she feels safe when they're together. What we really look to do is provide a welcoming environment that is uh, attractive and beautiful and inviting. I think she'd, she'd like it if somehow or another this wonderful place here would come up with a cure. She is the love of my life. She's my best friend. This has got to be the happiest ending you could have is, you know, have 60 years of wonderful times together. Yes. And we still like each other. <laughs> <laughs> Who said you had Alzheimer's? <laughs>